Hey guys, this is the Hoor from Tennis House. I'm so happy to be out here on a sunny day and explain to you guys the back end, the two handed back end from scratch. So I will go through the seven checkpoints the, the grip, the unit turn, the loading phase, the acceleration phase, the contact point, the follow through, and the finish. And I use today the two hander. And the first video we shot on the forehand side was a huge success. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this one. And as always, please subscribe to our channel if you like what we do and click the notification buttons on so you're the first to get when we post new videos. So let's get to the grip, guys. So what I like to teach the players on the right hand as a right-hander is, is the continental grip. Okay, so you can work with the bevel where you have eight bevel, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all right? And those eight bevels, the top bevel is number one, the second bevel here is number two. So in that second bevel right here, the one on the side here, if you put the index knuckle and the heel pad and you draw a line right here and you put the right hand the index knuckle on that second bevel you get the continental grip another way how you get the grip is if you put that's for beginner player very very uh, useful they use that i use that and it works great they just put the racket in the armpit and grab around here and doing that they think they take a sword out and you get a pretty good continental grip as well so those are my two favorite ways to show the continental either you work with the index knuckle right here and the heel pad and you draw a line and you put it on bevel number two or you do the sword thing so now we have the right hand in the right place so what I like to teach is with the left hand that's the bevels if you put the bevel on bevel number seven of the left side so which is the right here it's the eastern eastern forehand grip for your left hand right so you just put that on there and then you put the left hand what's important above the right thumb of the right hand so there there's no space it's right there some players like to have a semi western on the on the left hand and if you think about the two hand and back hand either way is fine the left hand can be an eastern or semi western think about it if you take I tell my players always take the right hand away and it's what it's like a forehand with your left hand once that clicks they will understand um, the, the, how important the grip is and what they're actually doing with that back end so those two ways are the easiest ways to get the right grip and now on the next video we're going to talk on the on uh, about the take back